crystal cry last night I didn't know what to say guys welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna show you how I sort of get the bedroom insta worthy so at the moment it's sort of how it is when we first wake up so pretty much an absolute mess um, and I'm gonna just kind of go through what we do and then how I make it Instagram worthy for some pictures and then how I take those pictures as well so to begin with I just tend to grab the hoover and give it a good vacuum around so I tend to do the bed itself so this bed is from the luxury bed company and one thing I do love the most about the bed is how easy it is to clean. So I tend to just get the vacuum and then go around the edges of the bed and then on the top of the bed as well. Usually it's mainly cat fur that gets in there so I tend to just like to sort of give that a quick spruce up almost. Um, it doesn't take too long and then I tend to just brush the headboard down so all the soft velvet is sort of in the same pattern. Once I've done my vacuuming I kind of go to the bed itself so the first thing I tend to do is just give it all a bit of a spruce up so look at the sort of bed sheet itself, straighten it out, put my pyjama top underneath the pillows Usually the pillows need sort of a bit of a refresh so I tend to just spruce them up and then put them back down onto the bed just like so. Once I've done the pillows, I tend to look at the duvet, so our duvet is quite a bulky duvet, it's a super king size, so our bed is a king size, but we went for the size up for the duvet itself, um, it's quite a thick duvet as you can probably see, so I tend to give it a good little shake out in the mornings, and then I tend to just fold the top over, now some people will sort of fold their duvet into the underneath the bed um, which does look lovely I just think with this big thick duvet it's just easier to sort of fold over and sometimes like today I'll just give it a double fold just to give that extra bit of volume and luxuriousness so then I'll just sort of straighten all the bits out um, just so it looks nice and tidy Once I've done the bulk of that bed, I will let that natural light in. Luckily on to this day it was so sunny um, and obviously for taking any photos for Instagram, natural light is your absolute best friend. So I just opened up the curtains, usually I would have curtain ties for these but the curtain ties are now the cat toys. <laughs> so then I'll just grab the big cushions, so I have three of the large cushions that I have at the top. These are from a company called Dusk. And I always like to do the karate chop in the middle just to give them that sort of extra Instagram look. So I just have the three across the top and then I'll have the um, smaller cushions across in front of them as well. I also like to add lots of like little styling bits into the pictures that you'll probably see in my photos. So what I decided with in this photo was to bring in this gorgeous marble tray that I just got from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, so then I'm just adding my cushions here. Sometimes I'll add white ones, sometimes I'll add the pink ones. These pink ones are just from Amazon. The inserts were just from TK Maxx. I always add in my pink bolster cushion that I got from Home Bargains recently, um, you'll see it in my haul that I just did not too long ago, and my gorgeous flowers from PH Flowers that you'll see all the time on my Instagram feed. I like to also add this little sofa table and put a Vincent's candle on it just to add that extra little bit of styling, as well as a nice throw. So you'll see I also like to turn all the lights on for the photo, I just think it adds that little setup to it and makes it look that little bit warmer and cosier. So before I go to take any photos of the bedroom once it's set up, I like to give it one last hoover and vacuum over the carpet just to make sure it looks all nice and clean and tidy for the photo. So 
So for taking the photo itself, I tried to stand further back just to try and fit the bedroom in, as you can see. So I tend to just use the camera app on the phone, so nothing too fancy for this, for Instagram. And then I'll also get some close-up snaps so you can see the styling a bit better as well. So to edit the actual photos, I tend to go into the Instagram app and then I will pick the photo that I want to edit and I will open it up into the Instagram story. So you'll have seen before in my other videos here specifically how I edit my Instagram for my theme. I'll then choose one of the Instagram preset filters, usually one of the last two there, and then I will save the photo. I tend to do a couple of these whilst I'm on the Instagram stories section, just so that I have a couple to play with and then I can actually choose which one I want to put on Instagram. Once I've done those photos, I tend to open them up in the photos section here and I'll just crop them down so that the crop is literally just the photo itself. I then tend to use the in-app in editing within the iPhone here and I'll just adjust the tint and I'll also just adjust the sharpness. So I do this every time with all my photos whenever I edit them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same with the other photo that I did, which was just the slightly closer up one. So just cropping it, adding the tint and also increasing the sharpness for that as well. And that's all I do guys, that's literally the how then I would upload them onto Instagram. So that's all I do for my editing and that's then Instagram ready. Right guys, so that is how I get the bedroom sort of Instagram worthy and from the sort of mess in the morning to sort of staged looking pretty and also ready for some Instagram photos. So I'm going to clip, put a clip in the end here of how I actually go from having the photos that I took to having them ready to go onto my Instagram page. So what I do for editing. If you want to know more about that, I have a couple of videos that you can watch. Um, my video on how to grow on Instagram will sort of talk to you about how to actually make this post go viral. And then my video on how to set a theme for your Instagram page will go into more about how I edit my pictures and how I keep my theme consistent on my page. So I'll put the recommendations throughout this video for you and at the end so you guys can watch them if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed this and please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow and be able to create more content for you. Thank you so much guys and I will see you next time. Thank you.